Hello Thursday people, what is on the go everybody? Welcome back to the stream, welcome back to U-Boat Thursday. What is up? Hope you're doing well, hope the week is treating you well, and if it's not, hey, it's almost over. Uh, Roly, Eon, yeah, I mean, <laughs> hoy indeed, thank you very kindly. Uh, a window might be a bad idea, uh, you know, it's spur of the moment thing, what are you, what are you gonna do? Uh, V, Marchin, Mr. Portelli. Uh, yes, it is indeed U-Boat, U-Boat Night, my guy. I don't, I wouldn't say I've got the Ard, uh, the, the Red Dead Redemption, uh, virus yet. I mean, I'm impressed with the game. I'm not absolutely blown away as of yet. I mean, it's a very good game, don't get me wrong, but, uh, you know, trying to stream the beginning of a storyline is not the most, um, exciting of things, let's call it. So, thus far, um, we are just gonna keep on keeping on on the Tuesday extravaganzas. And see what happens. Yes, Mr. Uh, Caption. I I've got you. I got you, Mr. Caption. It's okay. We're all caught up now. Everything's cool. Everything's groovy. Everything is very much rock and roll. Oh, my lord. Here we are once again. It is the 28th of September, 1940. And we are sitting in the very pretty, pretty port of La Rochelle. I do believe we are going to have some uh, some stuffs to be doing. I'm fairly certain that there's a whole lot on the go that we have to take care of. Add a little bit of water in the boat. Let's sort that out. Let's go ahead and get both compressors running for me really quick. We're down to 66% there. Um, Let's take a look at our loadout. What do we require? We require... An ah, yes. We restocked last time and couldn't find a damn thing to shoot at, could we? Yes, that's where we left off. With Sorrow. What's up now with Tuesdays? I See, Roly, here's the thing, my guy. I know you keep asking. I, realistically, I don't know. Thursday, Tuesday is whatever, whatever I feel like playing on Tuesday night, my guy. It, you know, it, it is what it is. Could be KSP. Could be Red Dead. Could be pff, insert game I own here. Who knows? Wouldn't, you, wouldn't let you go. I don't think I've had that feeling with a video game since probably, probably uh, Final Fantasy X for the PlayStation 2 was the last time that I literally had to play it, Continue, like I had to keep playing it. Um, sleep be damned, all that kind of good stuff. It's probably the last time I had that impression from a video game. Um, the story, like, you know, the story seems good, I guess. Um, I don't know. See, I was the kind of guy, I played uh, games like Oblivion for the side quests. Like, I, the, the main quest did not, I didn't give a crap about closing portals or whatever. I was just running around the world doing craziness. And for me, I'm thinking there's a very good chance that uh, Red Dead is going to be very much the same way. That being said, who knows? Who knows? I don't know. And if I don't know, I can't possibly expect you to know. Um, We're all caught up on crew. That's cool. Let's... Oh, I didn't check on food. Gotta check on food. Um, ooh, yeah, okay. Food is a little on the not there side. So let's see if we can sort that, shall we? Um, schnausage. Like that. And, oh, why not some cheese just to round it all out? It's good for the goose, it's good for the gander, that kind of thing. You know what I'm saying. Uh, Mr. The Pixel, I'm gonna need some fuel, please. Let's get that sorted. <clears throat> Pardon me. Fuel for me. Thank you very kindly. We did sail just about everywhere last time around. And I'll have Skipper go and talk to Mr. Shiny Car Guy, and we'll see about uh, getting ourselves a mission. Curious if I will continue KSP. I have no intention of doing so at the moment, but uh, I really couldn't say. <laughs> I guess you could put it that way, Mr. Portelli. Yes, I still have this terrible, terrible cough, and it's never, ever, ever going to go away, as far as I'm concerned. Main quest, I mean, that is definitely a plot choice, not what I'd make, but it... Uh, I was, I was disappointed, disappointed in Fallout 4. Hugely disappointed, not because of the graphics, not because of the gameplay, not because of the silly building base nonsense that I had, and I... Whoa, did I not like that. It was you couldn't choose anything. Case in point, uh, Fallout New Vegas, you could choose to do whatever you wanted. You didn't want to do that mission, you could just kill everybody. You just wanted to completely bypass it, no problem. You, Whatever you wanted was cool. Whatever you wanted was cool. 
you didn't have to follow any storyline in in fallout 4 you, you can't you can't even kill garvey and those people like you can knock them out and then they wake up and they're mad at you and they kill you but there's no way to get around not screwing around with that crap you know what i mean and i really hated that part but hey i digress um let's head off to bavaria we'll have ourselves some some steins some steins Bieren. Oh, I played it a lot too. I play I did play the hell out of it. Um it's just again, they they really let me down. I was like, oh my god, I from Fallout 3 to Fallout New Vegas, I, I was I was expecting this infinitely explorable world and like, you know, where plot lines don't matter and stuff. And like on the one hand, I completely get their point. Why would they bother writing the plot lines if people aren't gonna do it? But at the same time, you know, I, I liked that it was up to the player. I that was one of my favorite things. Um, you're gonna have to bear with me for a second here, people. I've got to figure out, um, this crew situation, because everything's all messed up. So... The thing is, I know I've probably got people doubled up, and, and, and it's... I don't care enough. Honestly, I don't care enough. I thought I cared enough, I don't care enough. I, I, I can't stand this crap. Um... There you go, at Toys R Us, my guy. Wicked. Okay, some orders, please, there, uh, dude. What we got here? Um, some boredom, the leader, okay. Excessive boredom with small amounts of vessels. Cool, cool, cool. The dull side of AM for some points. Enigma for some points. Gibraltar for some points. Mine laying in Gibraltar. Okay, this is okay. We got we got slim pickings here, people. Slim pickings today. Um. Well, I guess we'll do the happy time. See if we can fill up our fifty thousand ton goal here. Ah, uh, medium amount of vessels. Points ahoy. Yeah, we'll go ahead and select that one. That'll be fine. Um, can we get any research done? That's probably my neck. I should have done that before the vacation, but hey, what are you going to do? Can't win them all, everybody. Can't win them all. Um, one or two patches since the... Uh, there's been 17 patches. 17, my guy. We're on patch 17 now. Using mods for different flags. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah. Um, um, what... Who do I have available? It's a leader. Do I have available? Who do I have? Um, I've got a leader. Oh, I've got somebody that can do everything. Right, 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 right. I got to remember this. Is I want better hydrophones or do I want better batteries? Hmm. Precision's nice. Time underwater may be more important to me at the moment. Still, though. Yeah, I'm going to go with accumulators. That's going to be my next shot in the dark here. Let's get started on that. It's going to take up three of my four rep points, which is fine. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and throw in a save so we don't forget. Um, we'll save over this one. I think it should be fine. More bugs. 100%, my guy. Okay, let's kick the tires, light the fires, get this boat where it needs to be going. Um, I'd like someone on nav to get that sweet, sweet consumption bonus. Loving that stuff. And why don't we go ahead and throw on the searchlight just for the visuals. We'll go ahead and put it in this mode so that everything's pretty. Everything is quite pretty. Only seen it update in Steam twice. You won't usually see uh, most of the patches as, as an update because it'll update so fast that unless you were like staring directly at the block, you, you wouldn't even notice. Um, yeah, 17 took about, I think it took a good eight seconds probably to install, something like that. I desperately need my mustache trimmed. I'm chewing on my hair all the time now. It's, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> So is the diving to 300 meters where she's supposed to be? No, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think any part of that is a good plan. I think you should realistically uh, reevaluate your, your mission there and uh, not dive to 300 meters. Everything gets real creaky. 
What did I research? Better batteries, my guy. Accumulators, too. Accumulators, too. Want me some better batterizes, because these ones are... are, are they're, 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 they're all right. They're okay. They're okay. You always run out of air before you run out of power in, in, in my personal playstyle, but still. That being said, um, better batteries are always good. All right, we should be shutting down to zero here momentarily. And we're going to wait for the water levels to uh, do their thing. I'm going to put the mouse right here just so I can see. Ah, water level dropped, I don't know, maybe a foot. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool when you think about it. It really, really is. No longer casts the light beam in my game, but it does here. Patch 2 recently. Uh, no, I think patch 17's been around for a bit now. At least if, it, I would say, I'm thinking about a week, probably, give or take. You know what I mean? Like, give or, you know. Yeah, I think about a week. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think we've been on patch 17 for about a week. Oh. oh, good. Thanks, V. The 30th it came out. Oh, yeah, there you go. So we've been dealing with this for eight days at the, at the bare minimum. Um, All right. Thank you, camera, for focusing down there. That's cool, I guess. Let's go ahead, kill the searchlight. I want red lighting game. Stop switching me back to not red lighting. I don't like it. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut low from BF1 up to the tip of AM5 here. Just because there's going to be a fair amount of air traffic in this area at this point, so... Could... Um... I don't know what to tell you, my guy. Um, if you're running any kind of mods, expect it to break things. Um, also, where it's... Uh, two-month-old release of the game, I would expect bugs for the foreseeable future. Uh, no, let's leave it at speed three. Leave it at speed three, it's fine. Mr. The Pixel. I did save. Thank you, though, Dan. Thank you very kindly. I did save. Okay, for those of us just joining, we are heading off to Sector AM5. We've got to do some doing. They want 10,000 tons. I want a minimum of eight just to clear up the Happy Times Mark 1, so yeah. Yep, mods would be it. Mods are... 99% of the time, if something's wonky with your game, it's going to be a mod. Because as each patch comes out, most mods are patch compatible, but who knows what could... Oh, you're not supposed to be doing that anymore, are you? Uh, most mods just sort of decide what they want to do when they want to do it kind of thing, so he's going to pass it. No, he's going to be fine. Okay, cool. Um, small little micro changes are quite possibly enough for bad things to happen. Okay, we're cutting across sector BF1 now. We could see some shipping. It's possible. <clears throat> Though not probable realistically at this point, but that's fine. Skipper only takes one guy with him anymore because one of the individual names that was attached to him died. And I honestly, I can't be bothered to search the entire boat to figure out who is where. It's too bothersome. Okay, we have reached the sector. Let's call that in on the old radio. And it is currently midday. A terrible, terrible day it is. It's all crappy out. Let me turn down the volume just a little bit there. Here we go. Um, 350 bones for us out of 101,000 we've got. Mm, yes, good point, Rolly. If you save on a save more than three times, you are asking for bugs to happen. Guaranteed. If you overwrite a save three times or more, you will get start to get bugs. And the more you save on it, the more bugs you get. It is wild. Wild. Okay. Um, we'll do what the game likes to tell us to do, and we'll cut like this for the first pass, but then we'll go to here. And then this way, I think, just to, to start with. We'll eat up a couple of K first. Might pick up some Norwegian traffic, maybe. Um I'm I'm not really betting on it per se, but that being said, it could be just enough to do the do. All right, hey, what was I saying? Funnel smoke, where are you heading, buds? She's heading, uh, okay, she's heading south. Let's spin this baby around, let's get on the radio. 
This is likely just going to be a war patrol this far north, but we'll take a look anyway. Um, they're going to be behind me. Any chance I can see the smoke too? A little clearer over there, actually. That's an interesting thing that happens when you're at sea. Uh, you can see, like, the area you'd want to be in. You'd see this beautiful, sunny place, and you're like, crap. Why can't we just go over there? You know what I mean? There we go. What do we got? I see a destroyer. Uh, yeah, they're... Yeah, okay. They may be... They may have turned towards me. I'm seeing two probable destroyers. So, yeah, let's not poke the bear here. We will call this in. We'll, we'll risk it at this distance. Jump off the radio. We're going to go ahead and dive the boat to... Oh, let's go right down to 50, I think. Because I don't want no part of no warships. That's a waste of torpedoes when we've got to sink 10,000 tons. Um, we'll hit the listening post. We will stay at speed until I figure we've turned as best we're going to be able to, but whatever. Um, da, 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 there you go. Nope, no smoke for me, apparently. A little bit of tweaking. I mean, you never know. You never know what, what is causing it. Uh, even, like, even, even the, uh, the, the thing I really... Aha, see? Aha. Uh -huh, they were still heading away from me. Awesome. Um, the... Oh, that ain't good. All right, try to stay behind them for a second. All right, we're going to slow to speed one. Uh, blue lighting, please. And we're going to start putting people on command stations, try to keep them as quiet as we can. Yeah, okay. All right. That, that, that. Cool. Cool. All right, we want to get low and slow. We want no dealings. We're actually going to dive a bit. Um, although, there's a part of me that wants to... No, let's stay around 40. There's a lot of chop up top. Um, oddly enough, the, the environment's not showing to do anything currently, but hey, whatever. That's fine. How long have I had... Oh, no. Now, it's possible they didn't actually get a sniff of me, that they're just doing their business. So we'll go ahead and keep going north. Yeah. I think we're okay here. Believe it or not, being on the map screen uses way more GPU than being on the screen with all the waves and stuff, which is just immaculate, by the way. <clears throat> Alright, so we know we got war patrols out here, which is a pain, but I mean, it's not to be unexpected. Certainly not to be unexpected uh, to have warships cruising the Irish coastline. That being said, we're going to keep our distance um, as best we can. Because we don't want no doings with them. Alright, we're going to go ahead, speed up, come up to the surface. We should have more than enough distance now, even in full daylight. Yeah, we're good. Okay. We'll keep heading for the line to keep eating up some tonnage, or sorry, some kilometers. But we are going to go ahead and pop our noses back out. Let's hit the electric compressor. Alright, we are rocking and rolling. Awesome. Alright, we need people there. Mr. Retire can head straight back to bed. Cool, rock and roll. Nice. <coughs> uh, stream, you mean? What? Okay. Okay, let's cruise a little, shall we? And then we'll cut right back down. Oh, I don't know. Let's head towards this aisle. We'll head towards this little aisle. We'll head towards where the warships were going. Maybe there'll be like shipping or something out here. Which could be quite helpful. Could be. Not saying it will be, but it could be. We do have red lighting. Yeah, we'll sort of head towards where we know stuff happens. Uh, we expect some shipping in this area. Not much, but some. Alright. With any luck, we'll catch sight of something with... Uh, something with cargo would be uh, beautiful, uh, realistically, because... Uh, well, it's no fun when you don't get to shoot at boats. I mean, I know it's it's perfectly accurate, etc. But, uh, you know, me being the, the wonderfully patient man that I am, 
It's not good for my blood pressure. Okay. So what I'd like to do is um, I'd like to go to like here and then dive on this area and uh, see if we can hear anything coming or going. Uh, Capuchillo. Capuch, Capuch, Cap. I'm doing my best. Um, yeah, this might be a good spot right here, honestly. Let's see. Let's go ahead, kill engines. Uh, it's coming on darkness and whatnot. So once, you know, we don't really have to wait around. Let's go ahead and just dive straight to uh, periscope depth. Um, we'll jump on the listening post with some help. Um, we'll hang on to the... Don't really need them. Um, no, we don't really need people helping currently. We'll give Skipper some helpers just because that's helpful for him. And uh, let's have ourselves a little listen. All right, we've got five to ten here. Um, they're heading a 108, so realistically, we could possibly come to here and intercept them. Yeah. Interesting that I lost... Oh, we must have popped out of the waves there for a second. I was going to say, I just lost them. Let's go ahead and see if we can pick them up again. Uh, hmm. Let's dive a little deeper, down around 30. We are as quiet as quiet gets, pretty well. That might have been some kind of error, because we're not hearing it anymore. Let me move forward at speed one for a second. Just to point the hydrophone better in this direction kind of a thing. Yeah, hey, okay. So a five to ten, it's not gonna be five to ten warships, that'd be insane. So here's what I'm figuring. Uh, they're doing 108. So, something like that way, which is weird. Why would they be going that way? We're going to go here um, at third gear on the surface. And we're going to see if we can intercept them. That's sort of my plan. Time will tell. Whether or not it's a good plan. So we're doing, what, 15 knots or so? 13 knots? To their approximate 7. We don't want to be going too fast. I could use that one, but then what if you pop up before you're ready to be done listening? You only stay down for 5 minutes total, right? So what if I wanted to stay down there for an hour? You know what I mean? The uh, little blue button is great when you're sort of like casting a line like every so many, like if you put yourself like a 300 kilometer journey and then keep popping up, popping up and down, that's fine. But no, it's not what I wanted to do. We're going to turn the boat like this. We're going to stop it. Okay, let's go to red lighting. See if we can catch... Ooh, we're not going to see nothing. It is nasty out here. Lots of haze, which is good for us in a lot of ways. We'll give it a second, see if there's any chance they can pick up what's going on. Where would they go? There is almost no water here. This is extremely dangerous stuff. Yeah. All right, we're not going to catch sight of them on the surface. Let's go ahead and get back down to periscope depth. Let's turn on the dive planes. To electric, that is. Maybe it'll hold it better at depth. All right, we don't want helpers there. Okay, back to blue. Now, with any luck, we're going to pick up the 5 to 10 that we supposedly saw. Saw. With our ears. We saw it with our ears. It's perfectly acceptable. Alright, we're not seeing it. Let's get down to 30. We might... <laughs> wait, we might actually be on the bottom now. I might have just bottomed the boat. Nope, not quite. Nope, no, we're still floating. We're okay. Okay. I'm still not hearing this uh, 5 to 10. There's no way they would have gone in here or some nonsense, right? That's not a thing. They may have gone missing on me. 
Now, given their speed, I would guess they're somewhere like here-ish by now. Maybe even here. Hmm. Well, this is unfortunate. What? They did go up in there. That's super weird. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang out here for a minute. Because I'm thinking this is glitches. Oh my god, look at... I'm doing... What is even happening, game? 21 FPS right now? What are you even doing? Where are they going? Oh yeah, this is... Wow, I didn't think there was any chance in hell a huge... Well, not a huge, but a, a big old 5 to 10 was going up there. I didn't think there was any chance in hell that that was going to happen. Wow, okay. Okay. I mean, color me impressed. Just saying. 5 to 10, going all the way up to that teeny tiny port. Wowzers. You got it. Alright, let's go ahead and pop on red lighting. Electric compressor on. Alright, let's, uh, jeez. 7 in the morning, should be almost sun now. A lot of haze on the day. We're never going to see anything coming. Damn. Okay. There's a part of me that doesn't want to abandon this area, and there's a part of me that wants to come down into BF1 where I know they're shipping. You know what I mean? If we come down here, you know there's going to be boats. That being said, it'd be cool to do something in a different area. Yep, treacherous waters. You're not wrong. Um, okay, we'll have one quick little dip here. Just one. One more little dip. And we'll give it a little bit and see if we can hear anything. Just until we turn yellow on Mr. Retired here. Still got a bit of air. Yeah, not gonna get there. Alright, well... I guess what we know, we know what we're going to do. We're going to head for BF1. We're going to head for BF1. Because there ain't no good, uh, no goodness happening for us over here. Alright, let's go ahead and engage in this direction, I guess. Electric compressor on. Do we have a better day? Oh, well, there's no more haze. But it's coming on nightfall now. Can't really rely on our eyes very much. Clear night, full moon. So, I mean, that's sort of helpful in a way. Although, I think it's a little more helpful for our enemies than it is for us. What you gonna do? Gotta remember to not give up our tonnage, by the way. You ever done that where you complete a mission and you realize you didn't do the tonnage? Kind of crappy when you do that. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but it's not a good feeling. Not a good feeling at all. Lots of water here. What's the in-game date? It's right there, my guy. 27 October, 1940. It's right... Oh, I can't, I can't touch it because my camera cuts out. <clears throat> weather report. What? What do you mean, weather report? Not doing tonnage? We're not finding tonnage. That's the problem. This is a terrible sector to hunt in. I'm running up the clock on my kilometers. We're going to go down into BF1 where they're shipping. Because this place sucks. It's poopy. I do not appreciate it very much. Stop fading. Hello, by the way. Stop fading. I don't know what we're talking about. Okay, we'll call in the fact that we completed the, the uh, kilometrical requirements. We are going to get down into BF1 where I know there are boats. Gotta remember to not click this button, though. That would be problematic. By problematic, I mean it would be a little bit of an inconvenience. Because then we'd have to drive all the way back out and do stuff and blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. Got to keep an eye on our fuel consumption, too. We're down about three quarters, maybe even a third. Oh, there you go. Got it. Does this game sport different subs? Just the one, my guy. Just the one. Okay. Now, once we get in here... I think we'll do a dip right there. 
That'll be good. Wait till the ding ding. Skipper's not seeing nothing. I didn't expect him to, realistically. Not until we got into the shipping lanes. Oh, no. Oh, now could be good, I guess. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, have a quick dip. Give him some help. Go to blue lighting to help him out a little more. Um, Probably should check on the galley. Let's do that with semi here. Running low on schnitzels. Let's go ahead and stock halfway, pro approximately. And fruits to prevent tuberculosis. For whatever reason. Nothing. Okay. We'll get closer to the shipping lane. We'll try that again at a later date. And by later date, I mean, well, in just a minute or two, realistically. And, okay, try that again. Nice and dark and creepy. Oop. There we go, props detected. Single. Whale poop. Anyway, it's tonnage. Tonnage is tonnage. Um, let's actually go ahead and give it a second. See if we can track it a little. Down to 50. Be under for another, what, three minutes? And. Alright, so she's sort of going like yay. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and gauge speed 5, come to the surface. Go ahead and fire up both compressors. Red lighting engaged. See what we can do about this. This is likely going to be a lonely empire. But that being said, tonnage is tonnage. Transport spot, let's call it in. And make a couple of hundred bucks or about 150 bucks, give or take. <clears throat> Could get a mutiny if there's not enough schnitzels. I'm just saying. Schnitzels is important to people. Gotta have your schnitzels. So, okay, so they probably are here-ish. We've got almost no visibility, but I didn't expect it. It's a cloudy, hazy kind of a night. Um, chance are our only detection is going to be via the hydrophone. Let's spin here. All right, now that we've closed the gap to about four kilometers of where we assume they are, go ahead and dive to periscope depth at speed... Two. Get ready to engage with the big ears again. Them big ears, though. Okay. We will go to. Uh, we're not going to bother with blue lighting right now. Two months and watch me play this has felt like four or five. Oh, uh, the last time I played it, it took. Um. Well, the vacations were a lot shorter. I was probably playing it for six or seven months before we reached the end, give or take. Alright, let's go ahead and have ourselves a listen, shall we? Can I listen too? I like listening. Oh, it's doing that thing where it's broken again. Very unreliable when used from the surface. No doubt. Okay. It's not actually allowing me to hear anything, which is kind of weird, but sure. Jesus. Oh my god. Whoa. Looks like our calculation was way off. Let's hold let's hold fire for a second. That could be a completely separate ship. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. What is up, KJ, my guy? Can't listen, no listening. Apparently there is no no listening for me. It's doing that weird bug again where it's completely silent. They had this fixed for the longest time. Now it's broke again. So that's fun. Anyway, we're going to stay under. Um, ooh, okay. Now well, let's max it out. Let's head in this direction. Start. Ooh, yeah. Start warming some torpedoes as we go. 
All right, let's go. Um, okay, I was going to say, why is nobody on? Anyway. Number two torpedo, please. Doing ten knots to their approximate seven. Number three. We won't bother giving him help. He doesn't really require it. Uh, not a ton of water here, but that's okay. We're not super concerned with hiding just yet until I figure out what we're dealing with. I'm hoping freighter, 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 that kind of thing. But, uh, well, who knows? Keep going on the warming, I guess. All right. Speed this up a little. Two. All right. They're drifting northward on me. Three. <laughs> That's right, I did remember to save. I am evolving. I am evolving. Come on. There we go. Oh, you little bugger. Okay. Whatever it is, I, I'd almost say it's increasing speed, honestly. Which is odd, but okay. Alright, I could slow down now and try to get an idea of what we're dealing with here, but I don't really care all that much currently. Skip a little extra help wouldn't be a bad idea. Third. Fourth. All right, start cutting north. And slow to three. Becoming too strong. We must stop him. All right, could be 5k off. Uh, we're about eight kilometers. Well, no, more like six kilometers from where we think they are. Keep on leaping backwards on me a little bit here at a time. We're doing the same speed they are now. All right, we've got ship. No, identif no identifiers currently. Please don't be a neutral. Ugh. Definitely not a neutral target if we went to alarm. Come on, Skipper. Up with the periscope, my guy. Up. All right, she's going to be off to my 270 or so. There we go. All right, we've got ourselves an Empire Tower type. Empire Tower, and she is classified as an enemy. Uh, Empire Tower, recognized. We're not going to get velocity yet. She is too far away, but we'll increase speed. It is slowly coming on day. We're going to have to keep that in mind. Now, we could go about this with the deck gun, but I've been itching to fire a torpedo this entire time. So we're definitely going to be doing that. Um, 4.7 at maximum speed. We can cut this down. Yeah, this should be pretty good. Three and a half. Three. Alright, turn towards target. Slow to one. Turn towards target and slow to one so we can get as accurate a reading as we can possibly do here. Plus, it'll cut down on the chop a little bit. Let's actually get Dan on uh, depth keeping for us to hold us steady. Mm, getting a speed check offer is going to be a challenge, but I'm up for it, I think. Let's find out. Oh, maybe I'm not. Look at that wave. Can't see nothing. Okay. Start there. Again, she's doing seven, but whatever. Got to try to do it the right way every now and again, I guess. If we get something above seven, I will alter it very slightly. Whew, fair amount of chop. I'm gonna hope to go with an. Mm, I kind of want to go with an impact trigger on this one. On this one. That's dangerous with this much wave action. Come on, not now, not now. Down, 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 down. Wave down. Perfect. Okay, seven knots. It is. Okay, her course. Let's get an angle on bow for the course, please. Wrong tool. Boop. Hello, boat. Boop. Boop the booper. Boop their booper. And then out through the schnoz. We got a 90 degree. Dead on perfection. 90 degrees. Bow. Right. 90 degrees. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Nailed it. 90 on the nose. Hell yes. Set. Uh, distance to target. Is going to be tough with these waves. Let's give me some breathing room here, game. Let me see the deck a little bit. Come on. Probably like that. I think that's the best I'm going to get there. All right. Let's go ahead. Tee up with a impact triggered 
T2. We'll run it at two and a half meters depth. Punch it. What's up there, Lur? All right. Awesome. Awesome sauce. What did I ever do to you guys? What did I ever do to you? Why? 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 Oh my god. All right. Um, what's going on? Torpedo is heading towards target. We will begin moving towards the target at a slightly faster rate of speed in case you need some encouragement. Um... We're also going to make ourselves a sort of a line like this to let us know roughly where those other ships are going to be. Now, Mr. Torpedo. Yeah, caught me when I was drinking. Glad I didn't choke and die. Um, Radio real quick so I can call this in. 150 bones there. Alrighty, Roo. With any luck, this is going to work out in my favor. But that requires luck, which I do not often have. All right. Um, yeah. Can I get a desert? <laughs> Thanks for them biddies, my guy. Much obliged. <coughs> hey, Rob Phil. What do we got? The Empire... General. The Empire General is the name I'm getting. Empire General. Empire General. Now, I do believe they just said that it's uh, halfway to target. Time will tell. Now, if a wave does that right at impact, I'm be very upset. Super mad. Super duper mad. It's all cranky. All cranky. But realistically, I can't make it any more stable than it is currently. A little bit of frost on the periscope. <laughs> 33 biddies. Thank you very kindly, my guy. Much obliged. 44 in total. All right. She's at 330 relative now. So she's roughly what? Like 10 degrees? Sorry, not 10 degrees. Um, uh, 80. Come on, baby blue. Don't let me down. This part is always like I all I want to do is follow the torpedo in so I know it's gonna if it's gonna hit or not. Do you know what I mean? Now that's interesting. It's never taken me out of periscope view before, uh, at the impact point. Alright, no fire. Damage is mm, kind of middle ground, realistically. She is very slowly taking flood. That being said. Okay. So here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to encourage her to sink more better. Let's kill the alarm status. Um, You don't need to be doing that anymore. Any water in the boat? Two and a half meters of water in the boat. Let's get rid of that. And we're going to move and surface and encourage that boat to sink with our deck gun. No, I dare say no. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's, you know, there's a price to everything. <laughs> it's not that no amount would ever make up for it. There's there's a price to everything. Um, Given she's so low in the water, I'm hoping for a little over 4,000 tons here. Hey, what are you doing? You doing, you little bugger? Huh? What are you up to? Huh? Probably dumping uh, wet gash overboard. All the food scraps. Ooh, my guy. Keeping your foot in pretty nice. Oop. Where you going? Huh? Where are we going? Just chilling. No worries that we just got struck by a torpedo. None at all. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, she's not going to go under, realistically, unless she suddenly took a ton of damage out of nowhere, which they do from time to time. But, uh, I'm not convinced that she would sink on her own at all. Um. 
Roly could use a little extra experience here. Let's get him rolling on the deck gun once we get up. And surface the boat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We'll jump on the... Let's actually get him to rest for the time being. Yeah, Skipper leveled up. That's cool. Let's go ahead and get Skipper a level up. Skipper... I just got him personal skills. Personal skills for Skipper. Makes dealing with the crew a little easier. As a new patch, not really different at all from the from the last one, to tell you the truth. Don't know how we did it, because the game is not programmed for that to happen. That's realistically why it's generally the only reason that would happen. Alright, one and a half clicks. Oh no, you guys, we've been spotted. <laughs> Sorry. Got a bit of mustache on my tongue. It was annoying. All right, let's grab the deck gun. Give you some helper. No, wait. I wanted to do. Yeah, you do this for a second. I wanted to get Roly on the deck gun. You just do whatever, my guy. All right, Roly's heading for the deck gun. Let's see if we can make a difference in the world. Up you go, Roly. Come on, my guy. Rabbing speed. That is a thing. It works pretty good. You just got to be willing to deal with the uh, the aftermath. But it does work pretty good. All right, Roly, what do we got, my guy? Manual mode, please. All right, we've got a little bit of HE that we can burn up. Let's do that. All right, we'll wait till we're a little closer. Don't need to be wasting no rounds. That being said, I think we're going to want to slow down. Let's go to three. There we go. I would do it, but I want to... Yeah, there's that. Although, there's a trick to it. If you, um... If you, um... Evacuate the forward section and close all bulkheads, sometimes you can pull out of it before you sink. So, there is that. Alright. We're actually going to want to... Let's turn just a little bit this way. Just for a second or two before we straighten out. Didn't I tell somebody to turn on the compressor? I thought I did. Sometimes, I don't know if it happens or not, realistically. Alright, straighten her out. I think she's starting to turn away from me here. Okay, let's, uh, let's say hello. Oof, a lot of chop. Doing speed 5 isn't, or speed 3 isn't helping. Come on now. Whoa, Nelly. Down you go, sunshine. Easy now, girl. Easy, Nelly. Ooh. Whoa, that was way low. Come on now. I keep forgetting that this uh, this aiming retic reticle they've got here is, is, is arced. You know what I mean? Not nearly as much as the other one when you're just on the deck there. Oh. Hey! hey! That was a decent shot. Not bad. Uh, where's her hitbox at? So she's burning now. Let's let the fire do a little bit of damage for us. Let her smoke up a little bit. Pressers are running. I planned. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. Oh, she's got the fire out already. Amazing Empire crews. I'm telling you right now, they are the best. The bestest. Fire. There it is. Keep lighting them up. Keep lighting them up. That's the way to do it. Let them burn. Go sink boat. I'm working on it. I'm working on boat sinking. Go sink boot. Alright. Now that fire is a little more out of control uh, than the last one was, which is a good sign for us. Ooh, yeah, she's lighting up pretty good. Still, it's not taking any fire damage. Which is, well, silly, but okay. That's fine. Have to pronounce it bot. But. But. I don't know. I don't know which way you want to go. Spell it phonetically for me. Sploosh. Like, I kind of want to keep shooting at it, but I want the fire to eat some of its health down. Because, man, empires are like bank vaults. They're insanely difficult to kill. I don't know why. 
Um, I've got a steering something like this. That should be fine. Probably not going to crash into it. Picking up no fire damage. We wanted to ram a Corvette. They have guns, and I got sunk to the bottom. Yeah, that'll happen. That will happen from time to time. Do you know, I think the very first thing I ever rammed was, an, was a Corvette. First time I ever rammed anything was a Corvette. She's still burning merrily, but we're not seeing any additional damage whatsoever. None. Steer in a little. B-O-Q-U-J-S-T. That seems like too many syllables. I feel like that's too many. All right, she's not picking up any damage. We're going to swap over to our small AP belt here. Give it a little more encouragement as best we can. Which I shouldn't be doing with this reticle, but whatever. All right, tagged her high in the rear. Not the very prettiest of things, but hey, every little bit counts, right? And uh, roughly the same area. Let's go ahead and tuck in. All right, I don't want to be using my HE right now. Starting to hear her screws, which is cool. Way forward. Like, it did hit, but it was way forward on the deck. That'd be a good shot there if the waves would give me a second. But they won't, because of waves. Hang on. That's not too shabby. Did some damage there. Took a little damage on that one, she did. This is actually good where we're drifting to the other side of her. We can start attacking from this angle. Ooh, that one did mucho damages for some reason, which is great. Tempted. Wonder. Now, it might not be worth hitting, hitting it again. It might go abandoned now and just burn down for me, which would be ideal. Realistically. Yep, there she goes. She's done. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and pick up uh, whatever survivors there may or may not be. And we will call a spade a spade. Um, no, it's just I don't, I don't actually technically have it unlocked just yet, I don't I don't think. I have the original rounds that they gave me when I started the game. You actually have to unlock HE ammo. AP ammo does a lot more damage, but HE, at least recently is beginning to do the kind of damage you would expect it to do. Once upon a time, uh, HE did almost nothing. It didn't light fires. It was really off-putting, to tell you the truth. All right, interactions. We're moving too fast. Slow down to one. Pick up some crew. But yes, AP does way more damage. Um, Six knots should do it. What do we got? All right, we've got the skipper, his uh, engineer. Pick up five of his friends, confirm. We'll also pick up uh, three of his buddies, confirm. And we're going to be uh, merciful and we're gonna give them um, 10 potatoes. You may have 10 potatoes, reputation plus 10. Yeah, baby, rock and roll. Cool, so we sunk the general, that's awesome. My intention now is to see if we can say hello to their friends as well. So we'll increase to four, um, send this in. We'll have Roly go about his business. We don't really need him on the deck gun currently. Don't need radio operating currently. Skipper is looking out for us, which is great. So with any luck, we'll actually catch sight of their smoke long before we have to engage them. I'd like to get a torpedo away if I could. Um, but that being said, because they are very close together, I don't want one uh, spooking the other. So what we'll do actually is we'll steer like this. With any luck, they're still close to that line so I can turn in and get a decent angle. I think that's the plan there. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that's the plan. Something like that. Something like that. The other plan is we are going to take a quick little break, everybody. There is not room on pri for prisoners. There is not room for prisoners. They just do this. And they're all just hanging out in the crew quarters and the galley. For reasons, they just hang out there. This is not... So... It's very... I need to make it very, very clear for anybody that joins the stream. Uh, anybody who's like hell-bent on absolute realism. Mm, you get some. You don't get much. Do you know what I mean? Like, you get... 
like some of the real names in the real locations it happens every now and again um a lot of the modeling is very nice etc cetera, etc cetera. but this is a video game it is very very much a video game and that's very important to note um a lot of my uh, youtube um comment section is Wow, people just losing their goddamn minds that you couldn't possibly do that with a 1941 and they just like freak out like you can feel like the spit that must have been hitting their keyboard while they were typing. Man, some angry dudes out there. It's like, bro, I, I don't know what to tell you. This is a video game. I, I, I don't know what to say. Please help me. Anyway, so yeah, we're going to head off for these other two targets and we're going to take a break while we're doing that, okay? So, I'm going to be back in about, uh, let's call it, it's going to be a little more than 10. Give me 15 tops. 15 tops, we'll be, we'll be right back at it. Um, for those of you who are going to leave the stream now, um, thanks very much for coming by in the first place. Hope to see you again in the future. I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Thursday night always being U-Boat night. So, if that is your cup of tea, come on by on Thursdays. By the way, here's me on all them socials. I do YouTube, I do TikToks. I've got the best Discord in human existence. Probably. And you should definitely join it. All right, folks. I'll be back very, very shortly. For those of you who are going to stick around, see you soon.
All right, folks, what do you say we get back at it? We'll do the awkward black screen until OBS takes over, and we will re-engage with our freighter friends. At least I'm hoping they're freighter friends. And by friends, I mean somebody that we're allowed to legally explode. That's sort of the whole kit and caboodle there. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm still, still, I was still locked to this target. Okay. We're gonna stare down because we're, we were locked to that target. Okay. Now, I'm hoping, hoping to catch sight of smoke here. At least the skipper be able to do it for me. Unless we were way, way off with our estimations of where they were. I see absolutely not even the slightest hint on the horizon. Which is fair. We were a good distance. We are a good distance away from where they might be, so that's fine. Realistically. Nope. Definitely was a real life U boat captain. Nope. Did I sweep? Maybe I swept. Never gonna know. Okay. Alright, let's close some of this distance. Skipper keeps losing sight due to the waves, but that's okay. Gosh dang it. Right? Unfortunately, that ship had nowhere near the tonnage I thought it would. It only had uh, a little less than 3,000. I'd like to get that full 10 if we could, but realistically... Here we go. That's a good sign. Now, we're gonna head like this. Uh, we'll keep the speed high. There we go. Big old plume. No real way of telling what this could be as of yet, but realistically a boat alone in this particular area it's going to be a freighter and it's probably going to be an empire freighter because, wow, the game loves them. Loves those empires, though. Um, I guess we could take the time to reload some Turpidu. Let's see. Pretty much out of those crappy T2s, which is fine by this fella. So we'll go ahead and toss a T1 in the tube for us. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. I think that's a fantastic backstory uh, for the people who might be watching this on YouTube in the future uh, where you can't see the chat. Uh, Eon says, Salted is basically Captain America, but he's from Canada. And instead of becoming a superhero after being thawed from a block of ice, Salted started streaming a video game that portrayed what he did during the 1940s. I mean, kind of make me sound like a, like a war criminal dude. Just saying. But hey, you know, I get it. I get it. It's all good. All right, no extra intel as of yet. Way too much chop. Way too much chop. Just want to make sure, do they have any friends? Oh, hang on. So there's the second one coming up behind them now. The smoke is pretty much identical between the two. So I have no reason to think that one of these is any different than the other. Uh, that smoke, however, looks like it might be turned towards me now. Just the way that it's changed slightly. That being said, it could just be a slowdown or a turn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get semi on the attack periscope so I can get a little extra height out of it. Maybe figure this out. Uh, we'll turn more like this for the time being. Once semi's in position, maybe we can get a little extra height. Let's see above the chop. Can I say something in German? Nine. You see that? Oh my god. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. All right. Woo. Very choppy. It's very choppy. Get this baby up as high as she goes. Could be charging directly towards warship for all I know. All right. Where's my smoke at? All right, that looks like it might have, may have turned directly towards us. What about your friend? Same kind of gig. Now, given that where we were when we engaged that last target, it could be part of their course to turn this way. So that's fine. Well, thanks there, Rob Phil. Much obliged. Yeah, nothing in the way of intel. All right, since it looks like they've turned towards us, we'll alter course again. Um, maybe more like this. Just for the time being. Let's call in for some free cash about seeing the smoke. With any luck, I can figure out what we're dealing with here. Uh, 
but nothing as of yet. No spars. I mean, there's certainly, like, God knows what I'm looking at, but I can't get any intel. I definitely won't get anything off him. This guy is headed directly towards me, though. That's giving me some pause. It's possible that we've got two, maybe, Corvette classes, just sort of uh, keeping an eye on the shipping lanes here. Fishing trawler, there you go. I haven't seen the fishing boats yet. I haven't seen them yet. That being said, I'd like to see one. I don't spend an awful lot of time by shore, mind you. Alright, I almost caught a hint of something there. Where the smoke is really, really dark just above that wave. Uh, not quite. Not quite. Still, we're making up for it. Steaming directly towards, like, a destroyer or something. Wouldn't be the first time. Certainly wouldn't be the first time. Nothing. Well, all we can do is give it a minute. That's all that can be done. That's it. Burn the eggs, baby. Watch it. Watch them eggs. Um, getting anything from Sam? No, we're not. Uh, we're not actually under the water. I'm just using the periscope for extra height so I can see. So no, I wouldn't be be getting anything from sound. Probably not a DD. Could be. Jeez, could be anything. Realistically. Oh hey, the game finally caught up with us. Nice. We've got an Empire class. That is an Empire Explorer. Everybody, Empire Explorer with the uh, communications tower there. Let's see if we can lock onto that. I don't think the game's gonna let me. Not with it just coming in range like that. Okay, so we'll steer back this way like I figured in the first place. Let's go ahead and go to speed 5. We'll get Semi off the periscope. What I'd really like to do is take this guy out with a torpedo and then rush this guy with the deck gun. That's what I'd like to do. Um, let's see if that's going to work out for us. We will close this gap a little bit more though because I'm looking at probably... Um like this maybe that might be better yeah all right let's close that gap all right let's slow down a bit to four nine and a half k it's really more gonna be like a seven eight six okay so what we're gonna do here because we don't want to spook them is I'm gonna go ahead and dive uh, just down. A lot of chop, man. Lots of chop. Tell you what we'll do. First thing we're gonna do is swap to electric motors to cut down on our diesel. Just so they can't see the smoke very well. I'd like to be closer to get intel. So let's steam in a bit more. Let's sort of dial this way. Ten knots to their seven. Better kick it into overdrive here. I'd like a, a nice, like, four-kilometer shot. Something like that would be maximum. All right. At this point, it's going to start getting a little squirrely as far as them seeing us. Dexa wash is completely useless. So we're going to go ahead and dive to Periscope. Let's get started on Torpedoes. Yeah, I'd like to torp this guy and then take this guy down with the gun. That, I think, is the way I'd like to go. We won't bother with blue lighting or anything. This shouldn't be overly dramatic. I don't expect to be underwater very long. Well, I mean, we're going to be underwater for a bit, but not, like, overly so. Alright, valves have been engaged. Um... Like someone on depth keeping, but not yet. Not just yet. Yeah, we'll get this under five at the very least, which will be good. And get this baby under the wave, shall we? Loop. Yeah, boy. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. What gives you blue light and red light? What's do? So, red light will give you a brighter screen and give you further sight range in the dark. 
Blue lighting will cut your oxygen consumption by 15% and will make the crew slightly quieter. That's what those things do. All right, let's get radio up and running. Um, <clears throat> we will warm one more torpedo probably. That's fine. No problem, my guy. Small arms? Oh, maybe. Does red light? Uh, yeah, I just yeah. So red light. Oh, they're probably it's probably lag. I'll wait to see if you respond to that. Props detected. No doubt, they're in front of us. Hey, we got noise this time. Very nice. Oh my god, V, come on. <clears throat> Alright. Um, 6.4 kilometers. Yeah, we should be okay, I think. We'll find out. Let's get started on tube two. We really won't be shooting more than one realistically, but hey. Why not give it a go? V strikes again. You're not wrong, my guy. Did not like what I heard. No siree. Okay. 5-1, but the ship is going to be, like, there, probably. 5-7. No, way off. Okay. It's under 5, though. That's, real. you know, that's fine with the T1. That's perfectly acceptable. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is see if we can possibly get a speed check. I don't think we're going to be able to. Not doing speed 5 in this chop. It's probably never going to happen. But, who knows... Uh, oh, hell. She's a neutral target, I think. What country is like a grayish blue, white, and a grayish blue? Does it, look like, it looks like she's a neutral. Which means we're going to have to board her. Where's her friend? Her friend is an enemy. Alright, we don't want to give away our hand here, so what we're going to do is we're going to stop the boat. And my plan is to take out her friend and then chase her down and board her. I don't want to. I don't want to give ourselves away here. No worries, my guy. Uh, props to that direction. That was the one that passed us by earlier. All right. Let's see what we can get done here. Let's keep going on torpedoes. Number three. I may have to back up. Um. Let's see. Alarm. So that's a 1.7k. There's nothing really wrong with that, per se. Yeah. Alright, we're going to want somebody on depth keeping here now. So let's go ahead and get Dan on that. Depth keeping, please. So, that should be my Huckleberry there, right? Yes. Okay. What do we got? Um, looks like a tower... Looks like a tower to me. Draft is 847. Might try a magnetic on this one. I'm not sure yet. Grayish blue. Greek. I believe it's Greek. I'm thinking it's Greek. Yep. Could be. Thinking Greek. I should get like a little chart or something. See that? Not sure how well that's coming through on your screen. But it looks like a gray blue, a white, and a gray blue. That's what I'm getting from this distance anyway. All right, Intel's going to take a bit. That's fine. We'll speed this along a little, though. Yeah, definitely an Empire Tower. Which, interestingly enough, before um, B-131, they were Empire Explorers, that ship. Interestingly enough. Argentina! That's probably it right there. Thank you. Much obliged. Argentina. It's very, very, very likely. Very likely. All right. 300-ish relative. She could conceivably catch sight of the periscope. 
I'm not super concerned about it, obviously. For what I, would, what I would assume is obvious reasons. Let's let this zip along a little better. Gotta be in a better position to get uh, some kind of indications of what we're dealing with here. Yeah, we can sink this, slam into high gear, chase down that guy, inspect him. Hopefully sink him, because realistically we're still a while away from our tonnage. Which is unfortunate, but true. Man, the waves are terrible today. Alright, velocity. It's gonna be seven, but that's fine. The Empire... Schwartz, maybe? No. Spencer? Could be Spencer. Could be Spencer. Very well could be Spencer. Easy does it now. Seven it is. Alright, we got a little time. Let's do the fourth tube in case we don't have any any ready. Um we could wait till she's right out in front and use an impact. That's probably the safest bet. Magnetic torpedoes can go off before reaching target, so if we are going to go ahead and waste a torpedo, we're better off wasting one with an impact trigger. Because it shouldn't be able to be pulled off course enough by the swell of the boat to go... Oh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Go away. Stupid. NPC boats. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. With a passion, people. Let's see. 1.7k. Skipper, let's go ahead and get an angle on bow. It's going to be damn close to 90 by the time we take the shot, by the way. Um, 54 currently to right. 54 bow right. 54 2 is the best you're going to get out of us. Will I sink Greyhound? I haven't seen her yet, but I mean, given the chance, I'd give it a go. Certainly wouldn't be the first destroyer I put down. Alright. Um, I'm kind of willing to take the shot now, realistically. Oh, I shouldn't, though. See, we're well outside, like, a 25 degree. Or, well, we're inside a 25 degree. We'll give it a second. We'll give it a second. We'll give it a second. It's fine. Alright. Everything's cool. Okay. Let that steam forward a little bit for me. Our angle on bow should be updated nicely. That course is 76.9 currently. That's fine as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Distance to target's going to be tough. We expected that. Distance to target is... Right about there looks great, actually. 1.8 is almost on the nose. Tube 3. Impact trigger. 30 knots. 2.5 meter depth. Firing. Swoosh. Torpedo away. Okay, let's go ahead and engage engine speed 3. Give me... 20... Uh, give me 10 degrees. Let's start heading towards this target in case we have to encourage her to go down. Huh? See if that's a thing. Defender, not Spencer. Empire Defender. Alright. It's looking good. I don't foresee any significant problems. Speed 3 is fine. Looking quite nice, realistically. Have a look from the ship's point of view, maybe. The Empire Defender. Any luck, this should hit pretty much between the spars. 30 seconds to impact. Twenty seconds. Twenty 
Here it is. Whoa. Camera took off by itself that time. All right, so we hit just underneath the last spar, which is not a bad shot. I will accept that with pride. Okay, raise the boat. Let's go ahead and tell you to do the do. Scroll into him, please. There we go. Go and go about your business, whatever it is you want to do. And let's see if this thing's going to need some encouragement or not. Oh, nope, she's not. She's burning and abandoned already. She's going down. Well, we can't take on any more personnel, but we could give them food. Realistically, we could do that. We could do that. Yes, burn, my pretty burn. Burn. Single, nope, two lifeboats. Two lifeboats. Hello, Sergeant Rock. He's out here sinking boats, my guy. And here she goes. Very rapid, extremely rapid in this build. Oh, yeah. She ya. Bloop, 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 bloop. Cool. All right. Let's head for the wreckage and uh, pass out some, some food. Parcel out some food. Flattery will get you nowhere. Uh, let's see, Lur. Uh, Lur would like a compliment. Uh, Lur... Uh, Lur, the way, uh, the way you input letters, uh, uh, into chat boxes around the internet, very reminiscent of, um, Beethoven's forte with deafness, deftness, that is, in the fingers, with regards to accuracy, speed, and overall good vibes. And there's your, uh, there's your compliment, my guy. Buyer beware. Buyer beware. All right. And zippy zoop. Slow down. Spin the boat. And prepare to give out foodstuffs. Oop. No, can't take them on board. We got enough. All right. Lifeboat. The first. Give them 10 potatoes. 10 potatoes for you. You are welcome. Lifeboat number two. Shall also get 10 potatoes. There you go, my guy. Uh, let's see now. Peace, Slack83. Hello, and hello to your five viewers. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Hello, hello. We are out here uh, making quips, sinking ships, and uh, just generally having a good time. All right, we got to catch up with this fella. We've got some... Uh, got some inspections and whatnot to take care of. We no longer need to be alarmed. That was diesels, but that's fine, because I actually meant to do that next. And let's carry on towards our neutral friend. A good sub game. I mean, we're trying. We're doing our best. We are doing our best, my guy. Last one you played was Silent Hunter. Most people do uh, cite that as the last one they played. Realistically, though, there really hasn't been much in between, has there? All right. Let's speed this along a little. We do have to re-engage our compressor. And... Oh, oh, you are a wolf in sheep's clothing. The way she's evading, that's telling me she's probably an enemy. Almost guaranteed to be an enemy. I got to know. <clears throat> no worries there, Slack. Take it easy. Have a good night. Thanks for the raid. Much obliged. Uh, Mac would like a salty fact. Uh, let's see now. Mac, Mac, my guy, you would like a salty fact. Let me see what I can come up for you. Um, all right, here's one for you. The cat that, uh, you know, my kids and wife got recently, it hissed at me today for the first time. But it wasn't like a solid, like, like, like it was, it was very quick, like, and that was it. And she just made the one noise and then she ran away. And I was like, what did I do to you? But it was very off-putting. I didn't understand what was happening. I was like, wait, why? I've been nothing but kind to you. But yes, the little thing decided to hiss at me. The Rio Mendoza Freighter. I I would bet a fair amount of money that the the, uh, the Mendoza is in fact an enemy target who is flying a false narrative, and by narrative I mean flag. I mean that's the thing. All I did was walk past the chair that she was sitting on, and it's my chair. It's my chair. 
She sits in the chair only because I allow it to be so. And yet I get I get I get hissed at. It's unfortunate. I didn't care for it at all. Alright, we're moving a little too fast for this, so we'll go ahead and slow down to two. Bearing in mind the game does not stop when you do this. It does not stop, it just slows down. Alright, interaction. Um unarmed, not escorted. All right, if they're heading towards an enemy port, they're done. If not, however, we got to do the do. So let's go ahead and send a delegation. Um, <coughs> who's my English speaker again? Is it... I got a French speaker in semi. Um, I want somebody with, like, disciplinary skills. It's probably going to be... Send Roly. We'll also send oh um who else let's send Dan the pixel uh we're gonna have semi uh, stupid thing we have semicolon bring a weapon take a full contingent of troops and see if we can uh, bluff it out of them bluff it out of them Now see, that's what I thought too. And yet, I don't know, man. Okay. Tries to communicate in English. I don't have an English speaker. That's very, very unfortunate. All right. He wants to show me his documents, and that's a good call. Um, I would like to see them. They're written in English. Something about the Port of Vigo, so it's probably where they're heading. That makes sense, given where they are in the world. They're going to be arcing up and then down towards uh, the African coasts. <coughs> So, they're claiming that they're not part of the war effort. Understood. I am going to go ahead and search the cargo hold, however. So, that's going to take us an average amount of time. So, we'll go ahead and speed that up just a wee bit here. 29 December... Sorry. 29 October. Uh, 1940. It popped out of time for me there, weirdly enough. I think it is an enemy because, realistically, um, the neutrals don't evade. If you're coming at them, they don't see you as an enemy, so they, they don't evade. That being said, I did blow up a target within their sight range, so that could be enough to send them spiraling out of control. I, I really I really couldn't say, but, you know, it is what it is, right? It is what it is. There's only one way to find out. Have I played Destroyer U-Boat Hunter? Yes, Roly. I have several videos of it on my YouTube, my guy. Plus, I streamed it um, when it came out of... Uh, when, when they released the newest version of it. So, uh, I have a couple of videos, of videos of it on my YouTube. Although, it was in a slightly different state back then. Okay, haven't found anything unusual. Let's see what they've got. Um, they've got grains, vegetables, and preserved pork. So, grain and food... Let's go ahead and check the port of Vigo and make sure everything's on the up and up. It probably will be uh, Vigo. Vigo, food. What was it again? Vegetables, grain, and pork. So food. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> think I might play it again. Not in its current state. If they make some changes here in the next update, I might, but not in its current state, no. I honestly, I don't have the skill to play it. You have to click between too many screens, and I, I can't, I can't do that as fast as you need to be able to. So no, I, I won't play, won't be playing it at this time. Um, I'm go, I am going to order an evacuation to the ship. Um, we're gonna take the chance that what I believe to be true is true. I do not believe the ship is on the up and up, just by the way they were trying to evade us. So we're gonna order them to evacuate. Um, go ahead and continue. Back to the deck house. We're gonna go to the engine room, because I believe I have a sapper with me. I do. We're gonna, we're gonna plant explosives on this ship. Okay. And that makes the ship disappear immediately, which is weird. 
I was kind of hoping to see an explosion there, but whatever. Anyway, we sunk it. I'm never going to do that again because I was expecting to be able to watch it explode and now I'm sad. Now I'm a sad person. Uh, semicolon's my second. Um, <clears throat> a third person to help man the gun would be great. Gunner would also be good. Let's give him the third person to start with. All right, how do we do? Booyaga! Looks like that got me my 10,000 tons, everybody! What is up, sports fans? Nicely done. Uh, Roly is not my main gunner. I switch between the two, these two guys here, Roly and Semicolon. I was expecting an earth-shattering kaboom. I agree. Okay. Now, that being all said and done, we can go ahead and complete our mission, finally. And we're going to find out whether or not uh, we made the right decision on that neutral. Mendoza. All right, we're getting home on Halloween. No fanfare, apparently. Not this time around. Occasionally, you get fanfare. Occasionally, they're like, hey, you know. Yes, it did look 100% legit, except for the fact. You know what I mean? All right, so Roly picks up a couple more points during the contribution of sinking the Empire General. Um, that was the second one I put down. And the Skipper picks up a few points for the Empire General, the Empire Defender, and the Rio Mendoza. All right, so we've completed the campaign of the Happy Time, at least level one of the Happy Time. I'm sure it's just going to increase now. Um... Yeah, so 50,000 out of 50,000 tons. <clears throat> Let's get the readout. Uh, it's now increased to 100,000, so the next, like, tier, I guess, is open to us. The general was uh, registered out of Great Britain. Utilities it was carrying from Gibraltar to Liverpool. She was 2,945 tons. The defender was the second ship. She was Canadian. Sorry, boys. Um... Bringing medical supplies from Halifax, Halifax to Liverpool, 2,617 tons. Now, here's where we find out. Yes! The ship was registered in Canada and carrying food from Halifax to Liverpool. Gross registered tonnage, 4,674 tons. The ship flied a false flag of Argentine. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That gives me a happy feeling. That is a happy thing. Okay. So in total, we had to sink 10,000 uh, to complete that mission. We needed to sink 8,000 and change. Or sorry, less than 8,000 to complete the happy time. <laughs> we didn't exactly decimate it. We got 236 tons more than they wanted, which is perfectly acceptable by me. In 11 days, 14 hours at sea, with a total distance traveled of 5,129 kilometers. And we've got another level up in Wizard. Wizard has leveled up. <clears throat> Wizard is my chief engineer. Um, let's see now. Canic would be good. Salvager would also be good. I think I'm going to go with Mechanic. Um, we can decrease the amount of inflicted damage. If we do take a shot, so yeah, let's go with mechanic. Perfect. Good, good, good. Sorry, everybody, my voice is getting getting quite dry. It's not murder. It's war. It's war. Completely a separate thing. Uh, talk to recruitment. I brought survivors from a sunken ship. Mr. James Edwards, worth three hundred dollars and fifteen percent of a reputation point, along with his chief engineer, Mr. Hugh Palmer. And um, six of their general crew worth oh so many monies for me, and I appreciate them for it. I really do thank them <clears throat> for their service. Socially acceptable murder, 100%. It's, but it's acceptable. That's the thing that we're all with it with. I mean, in a way, I guess you could call it a mercy, right? Um, I think it's about time to start. Mm, this will be the third Salem. Now, this, this should be fine. We shouldn't introduce any bugs by saving this time around on the same file. I'd be concerned if it was a number like four or five, but this one should be fine. And that brings us, everybody, that brings us to the end of tonight's stream. 
The end, everyone. I know we're about 15 minutes shy of where, where it normally stop, but realistically, I can't get a mission done in 15 minutes. I'd be doing you a disservice by making you watch half a mission and then cutting it off. And I'm not a big fan of cliffhangers, if, if I can stay away from them. They are unfortunate, and they have to happen every now and again, but realistically speaking, I'd rather not. That be the way I leave you on a Thursday night. Gasp indeed, KJ. Gasp indeed. Plus, it's going to work out for me. I am losing my voice rapidly, everybody. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Maybe when you're closing in on 40, you just can't talk for hours upon hours like you used to be able to. I mean, keeping up a running dialogue uh, against the voices in my head, uh, it's quite the feat in its own uh, sense, etc. Well, <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Yes, take it easy there, Roly. Hmm. All right, folks, that brings us to the end of U-Boat Thursday. Of course, I do stream every Tuesday and Thursday, and you can always find me playing U-Boat on Thursday night. Tuesdays, who knows? I just recently started playing RDR2 for the first time ever, so uh, there's that. And if uh, that kind of thing tickles your fancy, you're probably going to see that on um, Tuesday night. Nighty night there, V. No, says Rob. Too bad, Rob. Whatever you said no to, I've, I, I veto it. You cannot. I've decided that that is not allowed. Ha! Got you. Got you. Anyway, there's my socials, everybody, in your chat box. Uh, right over there. Not in in on the screen for some reason i don't know why but it is what it is no kj thank you for watching my guy i really do appreciate it oh i can leave actually it's amazingly simple i could just click a button right now and I see i ah uh, ah uh, i got you i got you you thought i clicked the button you thought i clicked it <laughs> anyway okay everybody <coughs> i'm coming apart I'm coming apart at the seams wait one so dry so dry. Anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out again tonight, folks. I really do appreciate it. And thank you to the Raiders, the Bit Peoples, the Scary, ooh, Scary Peoples, all that kind of good stuff. No, you have a great day, Rob. You have a great day, my guy. My day is almost over, and luckily tomorrow's Friday. Thank Christ. Anyway, long and short is, everybody, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I have been lightly salted. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Ah. Uh, bye now.